Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial, we explain how to download and install Visual Studio Code on Raspberry Pi 5 and Linux Ubuntu. That is, I'm running Linux Ubuntu on Raspberry Pi 5. Let's immediately start. The first step is to go to the official Visual Studio Code web page and to go to the download subsection or you can immediately go to this address. And over here you need to download the proper installation file for Raspberry Pi 5. Raspberry Pi 5 is based on ARM64 architecture and consequently over here under Debian packages you need to select ARM64. So click here and the download process should start. Now you will be asked where to save the file. My suggestion is to save it in the downloads folder and click on save and wait for the file to download. The next step is to open a terminal and over here in this terminal window, let's navigate to the downloads folder. The download folder is in the home folder. So you need to type tilde and then you need to type downloads. And let's list all the file and let's find our installation file. So where it is, we have to find it. And here is the installation file. The next step is to set the proper permissions for this file. To do that, we need to type sudo chmod plus x and the name of the file. I'll just type code and press tab key and then you will see that the name will be auto completed. Or you can simply copy and paste the name over here and press enter, enter your password. And then again, let's type ls-la and here's the file. Before we can actually execute this installation file, it's always a good idea to run these two commands. First of all, let's run sudo apt get update and wait for a while. And then after this command, let's type sudo apt get upgrade to upgrade everything. And let's press yes. Depending on how fast is your system and your internet connection, it might even take several minutes to complete this command. This is especially the case if you didn't run this command for, for example, a month or so. My suggestion is always to update and upgrade the system at least maybe once a day. The next step is to install Visual Studio Code. To do that, you need to type this and then over here just type code and press tab and the file name will be automatically completed and press enter and this should install Visual Studio Code. At certain point over here you will be asked to press yes. So let's wait for that screen. Let's wait for a little bit and here it is over here press yes and let's continue and let's see the output over here you might see this error in fact this is not an error this is simply a warning and if you google it and if you investigate it you can ignore it for the time being and that's it we have installed visual studio code let's test the installation there are several approaches to start Visual Studio Code. One approach is to simply type here code and Visual Studio Code will start. Here it is. Over here you will be asked to choose your team and here you simply can, let me just enlarge this, click this markdown and later on you can improve this and you can select your team and you can change everything. This was the first approach to run Visual Studio Code. The second approach is to click here and to search for code. And you will see this icon and you can simply click here and Visual Studio Code will start. 
Let's go back to the Visual Studio Code. And let's set the Visual Studio Code such that you can execute Python files. Over here, click on View and search for extensions. You can also press Ctrl, Shift and X to get to the extension menu. And here is the extension menu. Over here, search for Python. And then click over here. This is Python extension for Visual Studio Code. And click on Install to install this extension. It's going to take a while to install this extension and consequently be patient. And after some time, you will see that this extension is installed. So let's start creating our Python file and let's test everything. Over here, click on File and click on New File. And let's call the name as test1.py. And let's save the file, for example, in the downloads folder or in some other folder. And let's over here just type something like print hello world and let's see what will happen. Okay, let's save this file. To execute this file, you simply need to click here and the file will be executed. And here it is. Simple as that. And that's it. This is how you install Visual Studio Code and install Python extension inside. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.